this video I want to demonstrate the concept of map and a function called as lookup let's see a use case where we want to use map and lookup together I have created one uh, sample terraform project where I have created three files here one file contains provider details so where I'm saying AWS is my provider and this is a variable which we define under variables so it's going to be replaced with this value in case of uh, region so I do have one more variable we'll see where exactly we are going to use this variable later and what I want to do is I want to launch EC2 instances using Terraform let's search for Terraform EC2 so from the documentation let's grab the code so this is what we are interested in actually let's grab this code and let's keep that code here let's change this AMI details because right in our case we declared a variable called as EC2 AMI so take that and replace this code here so it has to be where dot the variable name this is how we access variables in Terraform the prefix should be where and the name of the variable and it should be inside this Terraform interpolation even these things like instance type we have to keep it in the variables but I'm leaving that part now but our focus is something different so in real time so make sure you guys are adding these things as a variable and substituting those variables here if we run this code right it is going to launch EC2 instance in the specified region based on our provider correct let's execute the code and see so this is my new project the very first time we have to do terraform in it but that's going to initialize with the proper provider plugins this is one time activity so no need to do this again and again okay now I want to say a terraform apply which is going to provision our EC2 instances in the specified region. Now there is a pop-up saying, do you want to go ahead, say yes for this. Uh, this new option is introduced in uh, latest version of Terraform. So the before versions, right, we didn't have this pop-up for uh, Terraform apply. So anyways, we, even we can suppress this pop-up by passing additional options. The provisioning completed let's go and check the output in the console let's say this there is a new instance created with a tag hello world and that is in Mumbai region in this case so this is a simple demo so but the actual demonstration is right I want to use map and lookup the use case is this if we change the region the AMI won't be valid in that region and if I go and provision it will fail because this AMI is specific to this region the use case of ours is I want to make it work for multiple regions in such cases I want to have a map of regions and their AMI IDs so here I want to have a key as a region and its value should be the AMI ID in that region let me check the documentation for map see there is a, a small piece of code here uh, images and the type and its values let me take this and put it in the code so type of variable is map and the values are like this key is the region and its associated image in that region so for our example let's take uh, two regions and uh, two images and concept remains same even for all the regions in AWS this is the key and this is the associated value and for us west 2 right i grabbed the image id from that region this we can take it out and let's save this one now this variable is of type map which has a key and associated value now when we switch the region let's say the current region is ap south one and we can pass that one as a key and get its ami id let's say tomorrow i want to change my region to us west 2 then we need to pass this as a key 
this map returns back this as a value. Now let's see how to do those changes in instance. Come here. This one we need to update. Correct. Now how to pick up AMI ID based on a region. So Terraform comes with some built-in functions. Using those functions, we can achieve all these activities. There is a function called as lookup. Using that function, we can get a value by passing a key. Let me show that in the documentation. A search for Terraform interpolation. So this single page has all the details. A scroll down. So there should be, see these are the built-in functions. There should be a function called as lookup. See this. This is a function we are interested in. So how to use this function is pass the map. In our case, it is the variable we define and specify the key. It returns back the associated value. Let's say in some cases, we don't have a key present in that map. In such cases, we can put a default value. If we pass any key which is not present in the map, then it uses or it returns a default value for us. Let's use this function in our code. See, lookup is a function and make sure you're calling this function inside the interpolation. The first argument to this function is the map. So in our case, it is a variable. This is a variable. The second argument is the key. So in our case, the key is a region. Again, we declared a variable called as region here. Got it? So in this case, right, our current region is this one, AP South 1. So to this map, we're passing that one as a key. So for this key, it's going to return back this AMI. So tomorrow, if I want to provision my resources in different region like US West 2, we're going to change only this and remaining values are picked dynamically. So this is how we use basically a map and lookup to make a code little more dynamic.